What's up, YouTube? So today I'm here with a quick um, update of my garden. So here's my peppers. This one looks like it's going bad. It's riding on the plant. Ooh, it's finding little bugs. Riding on the plant, so. But the other peppers are doing uh, well. You see this bug, this big black bug here? That's what ate my watermelon vines, and that's what ended my season kind of fast, you see them? Yeah. So they, they normally start off as um, some small orange bugs and then they mature into that big black thing. So I'm going um, to make sure that I'm on them next season so I don't have that same issue because I didn't realize they were actually eating my plants early on in the season. So I could have prevented some of the, uh, most of the damage that was going on. So on this, pe on this pepper plant here, this was a, a habanero, an orange habanero. And the seeds... Um, I got it from an orange habanero from Whole Foods and the seed didn't come out true So it must have been cross-pollinated Wherever it was growing at. Here's another habanero plant. Um, I won't know which one this is until this one starts turning color This one has been producing blooms But the cold weather has been killing off the blooms at night So you can see here there's been new blooms forming every day So I have no shortage of blooms forming, but it's, they, they die off um now here, this is either um, lemon habanero or Caribbean red habanero. And the same goes for this. This is either a, a lemon or a Caribbean red. Now there's, there's only one of each. Now one, one is one and the other is the other. So once, like I said, once it starts turning color, then I'll, I'll have a great idea. But it hasn't started turning color yet, but it is a large pepper. So I, I'll go look, I'll go look up lemon habaneros and uh, Caribbean red habaneros just to see the size that each of the peppers get to. I'm trying to find some sunlight so I can get a good view of how the pepper looks. Let me just pull off a bad one. This one looks like it had a. I don't know what eats into these peppers, but something eats a hole in, into them. Right here. I always look inside it to try to see what's in there, but I never see anything. But something is definitely eating a hole into these peppers. So this is a habanero. I don't know how long it's been sitting open like that, so I don't actually trust eating it anymore. So, but yep. And then here is the dragon cayenne. Um I watch videos of people when they harvest their peppers at the end of the season. Well, we're we're in close to the middle of December at this point. So I mean it's well past there well everything is well out of season right now. But as you can see, I have full green foliage and it's producing. Now you can see the damage on the banana tree, so I am getting cold damage. Um so for my pepper plants, there's one, two, three, and four. And they're doing quite well. And the dragon cayenne is extending all the way out to here. So and you can just see how many the sheer amount of peppers on here i actually want to get all this on video too because i'm going to come cut all the red peppers off in order to help those green peppers ripen in case we get a snow or anything yeah yeah you just never know what the weather out here i'm in zone 9 9b yeah but these dragon cayennes they, they're producing so I'm getting large and I, I eat i eat from it almost every day Check out some more stuff. My navel orange tree. It only has one orange on it. I'm unsure if it's ripe or not. The bottom has a little orange. It's hard to tell right from right here. I'm gonna cut it open though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna pick a day to cut it open. Here I planted four varieties of kale. I, only one came up and it was the premier kale so for next season also I'm gonna um, I'm gonna plant one vegetable plant in each container I'm gonna still do the open bottom containers here's another pepper plant right here and on the opposite end I have a pepper plant also Matter of fact, right there I'll, I'll get to it though so this is a pepper plant uh, I think that's a shishito pepper Hopefully the cold weather um, it dwindles down and we get some heat and I can get these peppers to uh, produce. 
but everything was planted kind of late, so I'm not I'm not blaming the peppers on anything. They were planted late. So the premier kale is doing well. It's um it forms these crinkle marks. I, I guess it's from the cold, but the leaves are nice and tender. I like how I like how um it has a nice quality quality to it when I'm chewing when I'm chewing them. I, I cook it. I like to lightly cook it about um, four minutes or so. Here's my broccoli. Um, I think that's Waltham. Waltham 29 broccoli, I think. I have two plants in there. It still hasn't formed a head yet. So, blackberry. I'm going to come and prune. I'm going to prune these dead branches off. But new shoots coming up. The blueberry went dormant. Um, another blueberry went dormant. And also right here, blueberry went dormant. So, and it's also going for the same on this side. That's what these red stems are. It's the um, blueberry went dormant. But you can see the new little shoots forming these little leaves and stuff. So this is going to produce next year. It's not even a, this, this plant here is not a year old yet. It was a, a new shoot that came off of I think it came off my rabbit eye blueberry that I put in the ground this year. And here's the other pepper that I was talking about. So everything is nice and healthy. You can see the leaves aren't really dying off. So hopefully we can get something going with that. Here I planted, I don't know what I planted right here. I know I planted something right here. I just don't know what it is. I need to go look at my uh, seed packets again to see what matches that. But I'm going to let it grow out a little more. Here, I'm gonna get to this. This is a Swiss shard. Here I have my cilantro. I guess I'll go cook with this also, since it's getting it's large enough to use now. Yeah, this is my cilantro. So it's grown from in my gardener seeds. Um, all these peppers were grown from in my, in my gardener seeds, except for the the dragon cayenne. Oh, I forgot. And here's my improved my Meyer lemon tree. That's what it's called, improved Meyer lemon. Uh, switch shot. Okay. Let's see if I can get these names right. So Ford Hook Giant, Swiss Art, Ford Hook Giant, Swiss Shard, Lucalis Swiss Shard. So Ford Hook Giant Ford Hook Giant and Lucalis, there are two varieties that have a um a white stem. Here, uh, I think this is rhubarb if i'm not mistaken and you can, that's a beautiful leaf guys actually i'll, I'll pick one so we'll pick it out of leaf that's a beautiful leaf because I'm, I'm about to cook i'm about to cook anyway so while well, i am cooking right now i'm just waiting for this stuff to cook down a little more then i'm gonna add some more materials so it's a, uh, it's a beautiful swiss shard leaf the um oh yeah you can look on my fingers I was just about to say the the stem bleeds when um where it's where it's wounded at it bleeds so this red you see it's red that's a um pigment um, so it's got to be super healthy so that's rhubarb and this is either pink Swiss shard or rainbow mixture right here I think this might be a pink Swiss shard but judging by the stem color. You can see the differences. So I have four Swiss shards in this one container. And like I said, next season I'm gonna um, I'm gonna plant one plant each container, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to expand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna expand it to where I can have double the containers in that same space. So I may need uh, double double the bricks to line this bed with. And I might uh, double I might double the um, the actual circumference of this whole bed right here. So I'm, I'm gonna see how I want to do it. Got some green onions going. I noticed the green onions are nice, thick, and crunchy and juicy. So, oh wow, look at this. Here are some Prince Blueberry, some Prince Blueberry shoots. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Prince Prince Blueberry? And how do I know? Because here are some more right here. My Prince Blueberry didn't have any new shoots. That's the funny part about it. It didn't have any new shoots. I, uh, I just realized this. So it must have just started farming. But this is my Prince Blueberry bush. It's actually very delicious. I think it's one of the, um, the more flavorful blueberries. 
Got a little blackberry branch laying across it. It's like tall. Man, that thing's tall. There's waves coming from way over there. It's about a 13 feet, a 13 foot branch. But yeah, some French blueberries. So all my blueberries are farming new shoots. I have 10 varieties. Just try my best to name them. Um, the grapevine. So here we have Tiv Blue. Oh no, I'm gonna start over here. So right here, it may be hard to tell. It looks like weeds, but it's not. That's the actual blueberry bush. So right here is uh, rabbit eye. Right behind it, I have climax. Stay, step a little closer. So right here, I have climax. You see the shoot coming upward. That's new shoots, new growth. That's climax blueberry. Here, it's hard to tell, but this branch is going upward. That's star blueberry. It was a young plant. Right here. This is a star blueberry plant. There's also some flavorful blueberries. Um, Climax is a good one. So rabbit eye, star, Climax, Prince. Uh, right here we have Home Bell. Yep, Home Bell has some new shoots also. These upper shoots. Uh, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come in and prune all these blueberry bushes since they're sh sending out new shoots. I'm gonna prune out all the dead branches, all the dead branches. So, home bell blueberry, um, powder blue, blue blueberry. Okay, powder blue, blue blueberry, which has new shoot coming up. And all of these are different season blueberries. They're not all in season at the same time. So that's the advantage to them. Here is Sunshine Blue Blueberry. Now, I bought this as a one-year-old plant, and it was about this high. It's uh, probably about this high when I first bought it. And that was earlier in the season. Um, April, May. So around, around May, around April or May. And now it's all the way to here. And the foliage actually changed color because everything was a, a evergreen color, but now they're all starting to turn like an autumn color. So that's a, that's a nice effect. Here, um, I do not remember your name, but you can see here we have new shoots coming up. Now, if you really pay attention, this whole this whole blueberry bush died out at the top. That's because there there was uh, extreme heat. If you go back in my videos, everything was dying out from extreme heat. But here, you can see um, new blueberry shoots coming up from the from the root system, which is here, down here. So new blueberry shoots coming up. Uh, can't can't beat that with a stick. So I got um, new blueberry shoots coming up. Everything else above ground died. New shoots coming up. That means that guy's still alive. So at home. I can't remember who was behind Home Bell. But uh, then here we have, oh wow. I don't remember all 10 of my blueberry varieties. And I guarantee as soon as I end this video, I will remember the, the last three <laughs> or the last two. So yeah, guys, that's my, that's my uh, Warner Garden update. And these blackberry shoots are putting out um, new buds next year and all my blackberry shoots are doing that hey yeah, guys so that's my update i don't want to have this video too long Got this beautiful swiss shower leaf that i'm about to add to my, my meal and a few other swiss shower leaves and maybe a cow leaf all right and some hot peppers all right guys happy gardening Happy holidays.